Uh, I know. Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, I got him! I won, Maxis! I went to a split screen! Yo guys, Josh here, and today, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing something I've been wanting to discuss for a very long time, and that is, why does Treyarch hate PhD? Now, this, as you can see here, I'm starting, this video will also be every reference and every PhD in every single map in Zombies so far, so every reference, like the Die Rise, Alcatraz, the uh, uh, Alcatraz Grief PhD actually in the game, and I'll just be showing you the effects, the uses, and everything of PhD. Now, obviously, the four things of PhD is when you dolphin dive off of at least a two foot surface off of something that has a height, you will do an explosion that is does quite a lot of damage. I think it will make them crawlers. I think it'll kill slash make crawlers between around 20 to 25. Then around 25 to 30, you'll just arms blown off, and then like 30 to 40, nothing really will happen. So that's the first effect. Other effect, you can hold a grenade in your hand and you will not go down. The third thing is you will take zero falling damage from no matter what height you jump from, you will not take falling damage. And the final thing is you will not take any explosive damage, any splash damage, any weapon, or anything that's explosive. You will not take any damage at all. Even the Wunderwaffe, since it's on this, called the dead, the Wunderwaffe, when you're zapped with it, you will not take any damage. So, on Shanger La, the PhD perk machine will be randomized with all the other perks like I said there except for jug speed and mule because those well jug and jug and speed will always switch their locations but not with any of the other ones and mule will never move its location so now I want to discuss whilst you guys are watching this clips and I'm discussing stuff I want to discuss PhD and what is Treyarch's problem with it because in Black Ops 1 they seem to love it so good because yeah there's a reason why I love playing the original Black Ops maps especially Moon here you know what really pissed me off is when they they uh, remastered Moon I'm like hell yeah I'm like soon as I soon as they remastered it released I bought it I'm like I run over to grab PhD where it was where it is in Black Ops 1 and I see freaking widows I'm like are you kidding me Treyarch I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, I spent like 30 bucks on Zombie Chronicles, and you're not putting PhD in it? I'm like, you guys are just a bunch of asses. I, I really was pissed off, because I'm like, really? You're going to replace on all the maps in Blackest 1, they replaced PhD with Widows. And I'm like, really? Widows? I'm like, this is garbage. So then... Boom. So in Black Ops in Black Ops 2, this is the first tease. Now in in transit, there's no tease of PhD I checked and stuff. So die rise you see PhD for literally a quarter of a second, which I'll speed it down here and then I'll pause it again when you see PhD. And the thing pisses me off. It's on! You could see it's on. It is on to purchase, but you're not allowed to get it. Because you're just not allowed to. Now on Alcatraz you are we we get even closer to seeing phd and again guess what nope you don't get to buy it now there is one way to buy a phd and or in fact uh fact like number like i don't know fact number like 10 or something uh phd can only be bought from the phys physically bought from the perk machine on alcatraz grief which i will soon show you here so PhD perk machine is only in Alcatraz Grief that you can buy the perk from. That's it. Black Ops 2, that's it. In Black Ops 2, Alcatraz Grief is the only time in Black Ops 2 we can legitimately buy it from the perk machine. Now I know people are going to be like, wait a second Josh, you can get PhD in Dervunda Fizz. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about from the physical machine. That's the only time you get it. Now... The only things that will cause problems with PhD is if you land on the zombie's foot, which I do. Oh yeah, look at that, holding grenades. I just wanted, I remember, I just wanted me and Darian to, to, to test it and stuff so like that. So yeah, uh, one bad thing, uh, if, you, if you dolphin dive on the zombie's foot, which you will soon see here, 
right here. If you dive on his foot, look it, nothing happens. Oh my gosh, shit. <laughs> I dove on his foot. I'm like, you're kidding me. I'm like, no way. So then we move to Buried. Now, Buried, you can get Perma perma PhD. This only works in Buried. Don't try it on uh, Transit or Die Rise. You will not get it. So basically... That right there. That's why I kind of paused for a second. So basically you just you have to die from where I dove from red screen five to ten times and just like that you will have a PhD permanent perma perk PhD which means that you don't have it forever. It's permanently kind of it's temporary I guess to say it. Well you know what it can be permanent as long as you take no falling damage. So this this PhD works exactly like the others, which by mean you can do an explosion while diving and you take no splash damage from weapons, but do not hold a grenade because you will die if you hold a grenade whilst having perma PhD on buried because it doesn't work like that. Now, this is the falling damage I'm talking about. Between five to 10 of these will deactivate the, uh, uh, the perma PhD so you lose it if you do this a specific five to ten times you will lose it just like this listen closely so that noise right there the that noise there I didn't cut this part because I wanted to show you after you hear that noise you will not have it anymore basically you can do this unlimited times unburied so you can yeah so that's basically it, ladies and gentlemen, in Buried. You can do that Perma PhD literally unlimited amount of time. So, like, if you lose it like I did, all you have to do is just dive again. Red screen five to ten times, you'll get PhD again. Boom, boom, boom. Now, here is a cool fact about Der Wunderfizz. If you're like, where is it? Well, Der Wunderfizz, as you see there, will light off will a little bit of chain lightning. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, and that's me special needs because I forgot. So yeah, the, the easiest way to find Der Wunderfizz is just like the box. Well, Der Wunderfizz doesn't, Der Wunderfizz doesn't give off a uh, like a solid beam of light. It temporarily does bolts of lightning in the sky like you saw me do. It's an easy way to find it. Kaboom. And there is a PhD. That I, you know, I love Origins only in Black Ops 2 because of PhD. It's my favorite perk because I'm so sick of using like their ray gun, red screening because of splash damage, taking a source of damage, and then being like, oh no. So that was that was always dumb. So let me get back to what I was saying, and that is that the real question is why does Treyarch hate PhD? Because look at Black Ops 2. PhD is like in and out kind of PhD is very weird in Black Ops 2 because it's like the perma perk on on buried only in grief Alcatraz der Wunderfizz I don't get it I don't understand this oh and one other quick thing watch very closely see that zombie he died from he died from uh, ice damage from PhD so basically just like that special knife uh, that knife when you do a PhD look at Whatever staff you have, I think out it has to be, or I don't even think it has to be out. When you have the specific staff, it'll do that effect when you PhD, like there it does the ice effect. So back to what I was saying with Treyarch. Treyarch is very weird because Black Ops 2 was just so weird with PhD. Here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Now we go to Black Ops 3. Now we go to my favorite, Gobble Gums. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be honest with you. If PhD is not in Black Ops 4, I honestly am going to spam Treyarch until they put it in the game. Because you know how annoying it is in Black Ops 3 to have, like, Mustang and Sally and not be able to use them because I have to wait to get friggin' Danger Closest again? That is the most annoying thing ever. Now, the good thing about Danger Closest last three, I think, are four rounds if you get it at the beginning of the round. And again, it works pretty much exactly like PhD, you know, falling damage, no splash damage, holding a grenade. The only thing that you can't do is a dolphin dive. So, yeah. That's another thing. If there are two things that'll make or break Black Ops 4 Zombies. If the option of switching between sliding and dolphin diving is not in the game, I will be spamming Treyarch until they add it. 
Number two, if PhD is not in Black Ops 4, I will spam Treyarch until they answer me and put PhD in. Now, I did this before in Black Ops 3. I actually did spam uh, Treyarch, and they did say they were going to put PhD in Black Ops 3, but never happened. This time in Black Ops 4, they better, if they don't have it in, I am going to, I'll be lit. So shit's gonna go down if it's not. This makes no sense either. Look at, look at that. I don't. They updated it. You could take more spots. So thanks for watching. Pies. Toast and all. Listen. Adios, mother.